This is your boy Top Dot, back with another real spill. Now, today's real spill is about the wild youth. Uh, real spill. This ain't to tear down or bring no more burden to the youth, but the youth nowadays is kind of different from our youth and how we used to do things. Now, the older G's back in our days used to get at us a little harder than us older G's do the younger folks these days. Now. Our OGs, if we was out of pocket, our OGs would let us know, you know what I'm saying, physically, some of them would let us know physically that you should stay in your place, and most of them would just sit you down and hit you with a whole bunch of words and terminology that would spin your mind up and put you on a different level. So, the reason I call the wild youth the wild youth nowadays is because nowadays the attitude and the structure is wild. There's no putting together anything and planning out anything. It's all on the go, on the move. As soon as it's this, let's go. Nothing else to talk about. But it shouldn't be. It should be a little bit of the older G's sprinkling some game on the younger G's, but sitting back and watching what they doing right and what they doing wrong. Now, we ain't here to dictate nothing that go on in the next generation. But we have to because we are a part of the older generation that is watching the new generation grow. And it's gonna come a time where we are going to need the assistance of that younger generation. So we trying to keep an eye out so that generation has a leg up and we teach them a few things that we didn't know. Plus we can make a living a little bit smoother if we just go ahead and stop acting like we all against each other because it's older versus younger and middle age versus um, not so middle-aged is what I call it. You know, that's the young G's coming into themselves. But the youth is wild also because a lot of the direction nowadays is aimed at just go. Go, go, go. Don't slow down. Don't stop. Don't pick up no clues. Don't pick up no um, good habits. Don't pick up no bad habits. Don't pick up nothing. Just go. Go. Whatever it is, leave it there. Somebody else will take care of it. No. That type of mentality, my younger generation, let me speak to you for a second, real spill. That type of thinking, that ain't gonna work. Cause we tried that in my generation. And the older G's told us, yeah, y'all gonna y'all do things a little bit different than we do, but you also have to remember that you one day will be in our shoes. And you gonna be looking at that next generation, either telling them the same thing or following the next generation. Now, most people my age really shouldn't be following the younger generation but if they are y'all should be ashamed of yourself you know what i'm saying do something better but when it comes to the wildness of youth and the um, basically the effervescentness of what they doing out here now the reason i say effervescentness is because some of them just doing it and having fun with it while tearing up certain things a lot of uh youth I trying to turn it around like we telling them. A lot of you done listen to us older G's because basically we done grew up with some of these younger folks. Like if you didn't have a child around the age of 16, 17, such as myself, you actually grew up with your child. You know, I grew up with mine. So that's what kind of made me a better father and that's what made me understand their youth a little bit more because I had a daughter. So I could see the steps and how basically the character is built nowadays so i had a leg up and i just decided yo if when i get a leg up every other parent that didn't had a child back in in the day y'all got a leg up too go ahead and teach these younger folks who didn't have who have children now or who ain't got children and but on their way obviously to having them y'all go ahead and let them know that slow down enjoy your youth don't be so wild calm down Get a couple things together because if you don't get nothing together, please believe me. These government folks out here is not going to give you too much. And they're not going to save enough for you. They're trying to take all of that away from y'all right now so younger people can't, when they get older, when the younger folks of this generation get up in, in our parents, I mean my parents' age was like 50, 60, 70. Once they get that age, and we'll be probably be 
hopefully I'll still be around, but it's going to be well on into the future. And you need to save some. You need to have some built up. You need to not be so wild. You can be a little bit wild. It's cool to be a little bit wild every once in a while, but all the time, that's not going it's not going to translate um to nothing good but destruction and then you're going to be walking around with an earth full of rubble and no resources because you didn't tore them all up so my youth y'all slow down think about a little something something man and then y'all go out do what you got to do plus let's build some things man we need y'all as well as y'all need us let's all go ahead and make this thing one big happy circle and with that being said, I'm your boy Top Dot. That's Real Spill. I'll get at y'all next week, man. Deuce.